Welcome everybody to DXP Diecast Racing. We're out here on the old track. 20 foot long drag track. Equipped with a timer. Gonna race some cars. Got from Extreme Diecast Racing in a prize pack. And I didn't plug it up. Let me plug it up over here. Hope everything's running. Everything looks like it's good. I'm gonna run some cars. We got 10 cars here from Extreme Diecast Racing. These were one from a contest that he had. If you saw my last video, you saw the unboxing. First one and the lightest of the bunch is the Matchbox. Volkswagen Bug. We've got a Volt. This came in a um, mystery pack. We've got the Surf and Turf here. White Surf and Turf. Mustang Mach 1. And I have started to do, like some other people have done, do some weight classes. These three right here are under the 35 gram weight class that I've just set up. These five will be in the 36 to 49 weight class. Orange Roadrunner. That's a pretty car. Then we have the Olds 442. Then we have the Buick Regal, which very thankful that Michael sent this one to me. This is a uh, a Kroger exclusive black. I th I've seen this on Bobby D's track, and it runs really good. I've got the red one. Uh, and it's extremely fast. We'll see how fast this one is. And then we have this Japanese looking truck. This is the heaviest casting of the bunch. This one comes in around 42 grams. It's a lot of plastic. Uh, I'm really not expecting it to do a whole lot, but we're gonna race it anyway. So we got these eight cars here. We're gonna race. We'll do, uh, we'll do these two first and just see how fast they really are, or if they're fast at all. We got the orange Volkswagen going in lane one and the Volt going in lane two. Ready, set, go. Two, three, five, six to a two, five, two, oh. Well, I'm gonna tell you, both of those times are not extremely fast. Not very fast at all for this track. We'll put the Volkswagen over in lane two. We've got the Volt in lane one. Volt's got one on him. Ready, set, go. And the Volt's gonna take that 2369 to a 25.99. Now I noticed when I was graphiting these, I just put a little bit of dust on them. This one does not have the best wheel spin, even after the graphite. It may have a piece of flashing or something. I don't know, it just doesn't spin that well and it's only 27 grams. But anyway, he lost, Volt moves on. Next one, be the Surf and Turf. This is the first Surf and Turf I actually had. I've passed these things up so many times on the shelves. It just, just not something I'm really interested in. It's kind of cool looking. A lot of people like that big motor and they take it off to mod and things, but eh, it's just not my cup of tea. But first one I have, we're gonna see how fast he is. May change my mind. And then we have the Mustang Mach 1, which is a real beauty. Mustang in lane one and the Surf and Turf in lane two. Let's see if I'm right about the surf and turf. Ready, set, go. 
And that was 22.94 to a 25.10. 2510 is just a terrible time. I'm gonna run them again just because normally I wouldn't. I kind of figured that was the case. It's got these big, got these big muffler things on the side and they rub against the track. Like I said, a lot of people get these things, they get that motor, they like to they like to uh mod with them. I'm not a big modder besides making them fast, and that is just not a fast casting. Ready, sit. Good. Mustang takes off 2280 to a 2719. That's why Mustang got a little bit of speed to it. Not bad. It'll move on. Plymouth Roadrunner. Pretty. That's a pretty car. And it'll take on the Olds 442. I bet this one lined up in the but this is, they have lined these up a couple of times in real life and seen what they could do down the street. Ready, set, go. And the Olds 2267 to a 2276. Both of those decent times. Not bad. Not bad. On my track out here, if you want to be really fast, See, I think I had them, let's see here. No, I had them this way, didn't I? Uh, you gotta be below a 225 to even be considered in the, even in the lightweight class. Ready, set, go. The old drove around in 2277 to a 2323. Wow, he slowed down a lot. Olds, kind of what I expected. Ah, I really don't think this will be much of a contest either. This car is known to be pretty fast, unless I've just got a bad one, or unless this truck surprises me, which I'm really not expecting a whole lot out of that truck. But I am expecting a lot out of that Buick Regal. Ready, set, go. The truck's a little faster than I thought it'd be. 2279 to a 2326. Running back again. Really hoping that Buick Regal may get faster once that graphite gets worked in a little bit in its tires. Truck, the truck's kind of surprising. It wasn't the slowest. I thought it'd be pretty slow. Ready, set, go. Oh, and the truck pulls it out. 2300 to a 2313. Let's run them back. Wow. I'm talking bad about that truck, and that truck's like, ah, oh, watch this Buick Regal. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know what's going on with that thing. All right. Let's run them again. Ready, set, go. 2305 to a 2322. Buick Regal up one again. This is, uh, let's see what happens now. Maybe you just had a bad run. Buick Regal up one, ready, set, go. And I think he did, 22.95 to a 23.05. Mm, truck. A lot better showing than what I thought, but in the loser's pile. All right, I will take this Volt versus the Mach 1. Put the Mach 1 in lane one, the Volt in lane two. Best two out of three. Ready, set, go. One two two nine six to two three seven four. Run them one more time. Mach one's just a lot faster than that bolt. It's about that bolt. It's about thirty grams. Not very, not very heavy. The Mach one sitting right around thirty six. Ready, set, go. Mach 
going 2307 to a 2394. Mach 1 moves on. Got the old 442 and the Buick Regal. Buick Regal is really hoping it will be a little bit faster. I think my red ones are a little bit faster than this black one. But it's awfully pretty. Ready, set, go. And the old 2263 to a 2292. Adjust my bag back there a little bit. Looks like the old is quick. I got a couple of olds that are pretty quick in this style. All right, olds up one. Ready, set, go. Takes him 2250 to 2285. All right, 2250, not bad. The, well, who I thought would be the favorite is out. So we got the two yellows right here. We got the Olds 442 and the Mustang Mach 1. Let's see who's gonna be the fast ones. Uh, who you got? Mach 1, well the olds, ready, set, go. The olds takes it 2290 to a 2303. Not a great run for either one of them. Swap them up. The olds is up one. Mustang trying to hang on. It's got to win this one. Hang on. Ready, set, go. And it's not going to happen. 2265 to a 2290. So here you have it. The winner, the Olds 442. Olds 442. I don't know if I got any really lightweight cars up here. Just to run it against, it's a it's gonna be a middleweight car. So if I got one up here in the stack somewhere that'd be a middleweight that it could run against real quick. Uh, this right here might be a middleweight. Mustang Super Snake came out last year. Let's see what happens. I think both of these will be middleweight cars. This is not to get into the stack. My stack is currently being recalibrated. It is in a mess right now. I got cars sent off all over the place. Got a big race up there, blue line coming up. Ready, set, go. The Mustang 2231 to a 2257. So you gotta be really fast to get up here in these, even with a lightweight car, you have got to be really fast to get up in there. Ready, set, go. Oh, and the old pulls around him. 2255 to a 2269. I knew as soon as I said something. Soon as I said something, that old's gonna show out. And that's fine. Okay. We're all looking for speed here. Ready. Sit. Go. 2241 to a 2264. Super Snake. Mustang. Uh, saying not yet. Not yet. Fast. Pretty fast for a newer car anyway. That old, I think, is uh, from the late 90s. Ready, set, go. And he takes it. 2269 to a 2290. Olds is not super consistent with its speed. But he definitely, definitely was the fastest out of the 10 that Extreme Diecast sent me. If you haven't seen the Extreme Diecast, I got a beautiful 40 foot track. Uh, I have a lot of races. You pick them races. This is where I won these 10 cars. Uh, you saw eight. I had two motorcycles. Not going to race those. But anyway, 
Just want to shout out to uh, Extreme Diecast Racing. I uh, unpackaged these yesterday. Want to put them on the track, let everybody see them. And that is your winner. A lot of good things coming up here at DXP Diecast Racing. Got a lot of guys, a lot of fast guys over here. And we will do more racing, so subscribe and hit that like button. I hope y'all have a blessed day.